Hey everybody, it's Stacy with Pageantry Now, and we're trying to connect for our Sunday afternoon uh, interview, and we have a very special guest today, uh, Miss Queen Beauty Universe, um, and she's going to try to connect. We've been having some issues trying to connect, but we'll try to figure something out. Um, if we can't get it to work tonight, we will get it to work uh, on another night and get it so we can be able to speak to her, but she was crowned here um, in Miami a couple of months ago and we didn't get a chance to interview her live on stage So we really wanted to give her an opportunity to talk about what she's been doing with her reign and how she's changing her world um, So do you know a little bit about pageantry now? We're all about positivity and pageantry and being able to really highlight the special things that title holders can do and are doing to change their world at the end of the day, that's really what pageantry is about. It's about sisterhood and brotherhood and being able to build relationships and be able to make a difference in the world. And we really want to be able to strive to highlight title holders that are really doing that uh, and to give them an opportunity to, to, to be heard because so often um, you aren't heard. You don't get an opportunity to be seen and we really want to have that and to find out the why of why you do this crazy thing that it's called pageantry because truthfully, it is crazy. It's kind of nuts. Um, Still nothing, Cindy. You uh, Sindel, do me a favor. Can you join the chat? Like, can you join the live stream? Is it allowing you to do it? Because you're stateside, so I don't know if it's just something because she's not stateside. I can see her. She's here. I know she's watching. I don't know if you, Sunny, do you want, if I ask you questions, do you want me to to have you answer them and then and I'll just read out what you answered. I know that's kind of cheesy, but it allows for people to at least hear you. You sent a request, so it'll let you do it. And it didn't let me do it. Uh, Facebook is not being my friend today. All right, let's try it one more time. Yeah, that's not letting me let you join to either, Sundell. <sighs> hmm. I got an idea. I'm not sure how it'll work. All right, Sunny, I'm going to do this. I'm wondering, Sunny, if we can do this. I know it's going to be sound it's kind of strange, but if I ask you the question like if I call you on messenger and we do a messenger live I can put your picture up hey Aaron thanks for being here we appreciate it can do you think we can do Facebook live I mean uh, messenger live sorry guys we're having some issues tonight with um, with Facebook with being able to do the live with Sunny so I'm gonna come let me, I'm gonna try something we'll see how it works I don't know how how the sound is gonna be Oh, thank you, Erin. Are you going to Miss Universe? Will I see you there? I hope so. Yeah, people are all asking me, am I going? Yes, I'm going. I'm going to Miss Universe, I promise. All right, so let's see. Let's try this. Hold on one second. I can see you. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know how to do this. All right. I'm going to show everybody there so they can see you because I don't care if they see me, but I want them to see you. So there we go. This is so strange though. Isn't it so weird? It's so weird. And, and I don't know why, but we'll, what I'm going to try to do without the glare, let me get it so it doesn't, let me turn off my light. <laughs> this is some setup we got. There you go. All right. There we go. I'm going to hold you up so people can see you and we'll ask you questions. We will figure yeah. this out. Technology will work one way, right? One way or another, yeah. right? Of course. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, thank you so much for being here. I'm so blessed to be able to have you. I got to see you be crowned, but I didn't get to talk to you afterwards. Um, and I know that you're here and in, in my hometown, and I hope you had a great time. And um, yeah, it, can you tell us your name and uh, your title and where you're from? Uh, yeah, my name is Sunnuvarsi Viurstotes, and I am from a small town here in Iceland called and I was crowned this summer in the universe. That's amazing. So the very first yeah. Queen Beauty Universe, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, from, from and, Tom, yeah. and your amazing director is, 
is Jorge. Yeah, Jorge and Manuel are, are my directors here in Iceland. They're amazing, amazing, amazing they people. Are. If you do not know about Pageant like Smart, you need to know about Pageant Smart. The, Jorge's amazing. So. Yeah. All right. So, he is, he's the best. so let's talk a little bit about Queen Beauty and the areas of competition because not everybody is familiar with the title since it is a, a new system for the most part. Yeah. So tell us the areas of competition that you you can well, you competed in. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we did a swimsuit photo shoot because this is more of a modeling aspect pageant. So we had the modeling um, photo shoot and then we had, of course, the interview and that was a big part of it. Uh, at the prelims, we had national costume and spokesmodel and then we had bikini and evening gown. So. And Which what? And do you know what the percentages are of each? Is it is it evenly spread uh, spread out between each one? Yeah, yeah, it's evenly spread. And what was your favorite part? What did you enjoy the most about it? I think the the spokes model. Really? My category, and I love talking about my country. I love my country. You know, and I need to know more about Iceland because I I've been. Uh, following along since Jorge became the director for Iceland Universe as well. Yeah. Um, and so I know the last several queens. Are you Yeah. Are you related to the, any of the other queens? Actually I'm not. Okay, That's I just I, 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 I was I was like I was like I know it's a small enough country so that you you might, so I just wasn't sure. So Yeah. Um, all right. So um exactly. What 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 was your experience coming from this small country to the United States and being able to to, to compete for this great title? It was amazing. Uh, the difference between Iceland and the USA is so much. Like pageants aren't that big here in Iceland, and I but I think that the like perce uh, perspective from after I competed and and to come the crown, it has changed so much. But I just love coming there because everyone is so nice and so open and just took me in like I was their daughter, like Tom and everyone. And, and everyone is just super nice. And what is your favorite, like if I were to come to Iceland, what would be the, the, yeah. the what would be the tour? Where would you take me? Uh, I would take you somewhere, somewhere not the, from the main tourist places. Like, because everyone goes to the Golden Circle and they go to the Blue Lagoon. But of course, I would take you to the Blue Lagoon because it's amazing and it's an experience. But I would also like to take like some hiking, go to my hometown, Akureyri. And, and we have like a, a small Blue Lagoon, which we call the Green Lagoon in the north where I'm from. So I would want to take you there. And I've heard it's so beautiful. Is it absolutely gorgeous? It is. And there are so many things that I have yet to see here in Iceland because it's just endless beauty so i recommend for everyone to come here i want to come you have no idea like i really do so i, I mean we'll have to work on it over the years we'll, we'll see yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> and, and you'll be back here soon so you, i mean you know you so now you've had your title since august no august, august? Uh, yeah yeah since august yeah and what like, what like, like, late july yeah what have you been doing with your title so far uh with the title i went to new york fashion week right and i walked for uh, supermodels unlimited and then albert andrada and it was so unrealistic i just i cannot even grasp it grasp it yet but it's just it's such a privilege to be to be able to get this opportunity because like i said i'm a i'm a small town girl from iceland you know we are so few here and this is just something like I was, I was given this opportunity, and it's so crazy. And uh, also with the title, I've been doing some stuff here in Iceland. I've been going to photo shoots, and and then we have a lot of schedule coming up now, especially after Christmas. Right. And we have some events here in Iceland, also like over the Christmas time. So it's gonna be super fun. That's so amazing. I'm so happy for you. I I walked New York Fashion Week for the first time ever this year as my myself. Uh, and oh. I gotta tell you, like, I can't believe that after being in pageantry for 37 years, I got to walk. But you, you got to be on a billboard in the middle of Times Square. 
Yeah. Tell me about that. That is awesome. <laughs> that is crazy. And I also did two um, like front covers on magazines. And I was like, what? Because I'm, I'm just so humble about all of this because this is so, yeah, unreal for me. So not, just, not what you expected. This was my first pageant in you, Iceland. It was my first pageant. You're the second person today that I've spoken to that first pageant and then won and then went on to international. So that was your second pageant. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. It it's crazy. And what made you decide to compete in a pageant? What made you decide to enter Miss Iceland? Um, it was actually because my mom went to pageant when she was younger and she won like a Ford model here in Iceland. Oh, wow. And my sister also competed. And um, so my aunt, she was like, you have to go. It's your time. Now you have to go. And I was like, do you think so? Because I'm not your like typical pageant girl. Like I've never been into dresses or anything like that. So it was just a completely new experience for me. And I don't regret a thing, of course. And it's been the greatest one and a half year of my life. So I'm just so thankful for my aunt for pushing me into this. For pushing into something that really is kind of crazy. And I tell people all the time, I say, you don't understand how how hard it is um, to, hold on, I'm gonna try to turn you up a little bit because you were down low, hold on one second. So that being, putting yourself in a situation where you're subjecting yourself to being interviewed yeah. and to be critiqued, it's really hard for a young woman, especially in today's society where everything is always so perfect, where we're yeah, all about looking perfect, feeling perfect. So, so being your, I mean, I consider myself my, the non-typical pageant person as well, because mm -hmm. when I got, yeah. when I started competing you know, I ran around in, in t-shirt and jeans and never wore makeup and didn't do my hair and yeah. things change. <laughs> yeah, but is that kind you. of your experience as well? Yeah, but I, I also look at it like I want other young women to see that you don't have to be a certain type to, right. to be in this industry. Because you can be just completely yourself and just let your own light shine. And I think that is so important, just to be, like, relatable. Because I've gotten a lot of girls here in Iceland wanting to go to the Miss Universe Iceland competition because they know that you don't have to be a certain way. And especially after yes, last year's competition, after I competed, uh, the year after that, they had such a diverse group. And I was like, it was so good, and yeah. I was so happy, and I was so proud of the directors and of all the girls. So I just think it's so important to get as many different types as you can get into this industry, just so that everyone can relate. And, and I think that that's one of the things that we're, we're seeing that change. There's a lot of changes going on in pageantry right now. Uh, yeah. but. I think the intent is to really offer more diversity. You know, some of the yeah. systems are getting rid of swimsuits. Some of the systems are getting, you know, changing how how the system is is handled. They're t changing the focus on instead of being just on beauty and grace, but also on on the character of the person. And I think that yeah. with Queen Beauty, that's one of the big components with interview and then spokesmodel as well. You know, having to be able yeah. to be a great representative of where you come from and how um, how you're going to make a difference. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I love about this system because I think Tom and all of them, they are so amazing and they are so supportive. And just every day, if I ever had a doubt, he was like, no, you've got this. Because he was just encouraging us to be ourselves. And I think it's so important, like, not be about this and that just letting us be ourselves and express ourselves just the way we want to and I think it's so important no I agree totally and I think that's the thing that yeah. that we really we want to highlight and that's that's you know the diversity the change the authentic authenticity being approachable yeah. is such a big part of this you don't want a title holder that you can't of walk course. up to and go hi can I get your photo if you've got someone that isn't approachable then how are you going to be successful as a title holder so yeah, exactly.
building bridges. You become, and I always say, with when you've got an international title, you become an ambassador to the world because you have an opportunity that is very unique to meet people yeah. that are clearly in need and connect them with people that have opportunity to be able to help them. So, yeah. That's great. So what's been the most, uh, aside from doing New York Fashion Week and doing Supermodels Unlimited, what has been, through the entire journey, the best part so far? Through the entire journey, so... So I from competing to... in Iceland too, yeah. Yeah. I think I would have to say meeting meeting Tom and all the directors and the, the owners of the competition in the in the States and also getting to know Jorge and Manuela. Manuela has become like my sister. She is the director with Jorge yeah. and she has been such a role model for me. And that's the best thing I've gotten out of this experience is I've gained a new best friend and she is through everything and, and, and pick me up if I ever oh. had any doubts. So. She's just the, the best one. And you're so stunning. Like, when you got crowned, like, I was crying. I was like, oh. you're so, I mean, but you were, like, so beautiful. Like, you look, you are gorgeous. Like, but it, you could see that Thank it's, it's so beauty much. from inside. It comes inside out. So it, it really is Thank felt you. and heartfelt. So we are I was so proud. I was like, oh, my gosh, you could, I, I, you know. And I screamed because I was I was very excited for Jorge too because I I, I mean yeah it was so it was so great to make him proud it was like we did we it we did this that's so awesome yeah. yeah we did it I wish I would have met you though I know I just I didn't have time I really wasn't feeling well and so I was there long yeah. enough to be able to take some photos watch you be crowned and then we got out because I I actually had double pneumonia at the time so. It was pretty bad, <laughs> but I wanted to be there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No, no, I, I love yeah. it. Thank you so much. For, I, I, I felt bad for Tom because I know I wanted to be able to get an opportunity to, to interview you afterwards, and I just didn't have the energy in me. So, yeah. um, so now we got now, and, no, and, when, and when and when you come back to the states, and we'll interview you again there. So, <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm coming in what February, I think. Yes, that's awesome. That's my next. Yay! Yeah. All right. So, what what are your plans going forward? What do you think you're going to do when you finish um, your title and or going through the rest of your title? What are the plans that are going to happen, and what do you think you're going to do afterwards? Um. So the plan now, I think, is just to inspire yeah. as many people as I can. Uh huh. Sorry, I got a phone call. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was like, are we on? No, but I want to inspire as many as I can. And we have a lot of projects coming up. And, and we are designing some. And we're hopefully going to go more of a sunny way and doing some sneakers. So it's just, it's so absurd for me because uh, I can't, like, comprehend. Um, but then we are... I'm going to travel a lot to the States and it's a long, it's a long travel yeah. for me, but it's so nice. It's so, yeah, I'm just so thankful. Um, but exactly what I'm going to do afterwards. I just like to take things one day at a time and, and just see where it takes me because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just in a, in a full job right now and, and enjoying life so I don't know if I'm going to study or or continue this path or move somewhere or I have no I mean and you're young enough so life can be an exciting adventure and enjoy but it's good that you're enjoying yeah. each day because that's one of the things that sometimes when you pre-plan so much you kind of miss out on what you're feeling at that exact moment and I know that with many title yeah, exactly. holders 350 365 days goes really fast when you think about it. So. Yeah. It's, so yeah. are you, yes. will you be traveling to any other countries besides the United States? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. But, but on my own, yeah, I will because my sister lives in Germany, so I always go to Germany. Just take that crown of that sash and then uh, make that appearance. You can make it a 
Go on the oh, train. Yeah. I will. <laughs> that's, that's cool. I, I mean, will. That's, that's the great thing about yeah. being in Europe is that you can at least get to other countries pretty easily as opposed to being here in the States. So. Yeah. All right. So we're going to yeah. do some yeah. some fun stuff. Uh, this We call this this or that. Uh, and it's basically, okay. I'm going to ask you a question. You'll pick your answer and then tell me why. All right? Easy? Okay. Okay. All right. First of all, <laughs> do you, bef I think I know the answer to this already, but do you prefer makeup or no makeup? I prefer the middle. I prefer like maybe a little bit of bronzer and mascara, but makeup, it can be fun sometimes, but I like to be just cozy. <laughs> so, so minimalist. So maybe a little bit of makeup, like mascara, yeah. a little bit of something to cover up, but for the most part... Yeah. The, the glam is when you're you're on stage and the rest of it is perf yeah. perfect. Right. There you go. Okay, great. And it's kind of European because that. Yeah. That's pretty much the the European way, though, right? Yeah. It's and that was a big difference for me, like going to hair and makeup in the states versus hair and makeup here at home. It's just too completely. Isn't it crazy how different it is? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's just black and white. It's like, you cannot get together. Yeah, we, we take glam to a whole nother place here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you do. <laughs> seriously, seriously. Okay. <laughs> Super glam with a big hair on the routine. Okay. So would you prefer to be like in sweats or would you prefer to be like dressed up in a, in a dress? Sweats. Why? I have to be honest, it's because I, I like to be comfortable, mm -hmm. because I've always been such a tomboy, but it's like with the makeup, if I'm going somewhere, of course, I want to be, I love being dressed up, but on a daily basis, when I'm going to work, I like to be comfy. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so big pop-up, stop. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. We're at least trying to make this work, so. <laughs> yeah, we are. But we're I mean, I think we're doing a great job. It works out great. This is good. Yeah. Okay. We are. So, um, do you, stop. Oh my gosh, stop. Okay, so interview <laughs> or, or swimsuit? Interview. And why? I love expressing myself. And it's, sometimes there is a language barrier, but but I think it's it's challenging to have to speak always in English. But but I think it's good, and I I have super strong opinions, and I I am a woman that knows what she wants, and uh, so I think that getting to address that it's so important. I agree. Like, and letting people, like, just opening up and letting people get to know you for who you are, I think that's way more important. I agree. But I like it. I, I agree. All right, so sure. if there were a choice between interview and spokesmodel, which one would you choose? Wow, that's a hard one. I think I would have to say spokesmodel. I really enjoyed it. And I think just like I said before, because it's so great to be introduce our country to everyone watching. And we have like, we are proud of Iceland. So I think it's always good to like, get to talk about it. I, and I, I always want to know, want to know more because I know everybody thinks Iceland is, is cold and freezing all the time when the truth of them and Gr Greenland is green and the truth of the matter is it's the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's actually snowing outside right now. Well, it's snowing in most of the United States as well. So not in Florida, but everywhere else it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> is it is it super cold? Um, no, it has been super like windy. But right now it's just I think might be minus three. Oh, that's not bad. So it's no, just it's just fine. just freezing. Yeah. Right, cool. It is. <laughs> people here I'm used to it, so. people in the States hear zero and they go, Oh my gosh, I'm like, no, no, it's centigrade, it's not the same. <laughs> 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 so, 
<laughs> All right, awesome. And um, okay, do you, this is a, this is a weird one. Do you like chocolate or vanilla, and why? <laughs> I like vanilla because we have this because in Iceland you always get some called which is like ice cream soft ice cream mixed with berries and and some candy and then I like to have the vanilla ice cream so to say vanilla awesome I like that and I like that answer too because it's, I'm the same way it's like I like the vanilla because then you can dress it up or have it very simple and classic so yeah there you go. yeah and it's weird because people have very specific reasons why they like chocolate or vanilla. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, I, mean, I, ask you, I ask you the question I ask every queen, and, and it is a bizarre question, and I'll tell you why after you answer it, okay? It's easy, though. Okay. Do you like frogs? Why or why not? I think I've never actually seen a frog once you say it, but I like them. So, I think they're cute. I think they're cute too. Are you they're all jumpy and, and yeah. So you. I don't know why you would dislike them. So growing up in Iceland, you don't in, during the summer you don't usually see them. I don't know. I mean, I know that every area has no, a different style. Here. Wow. We don't have. I think some of them have it as a pad, but we don't have it on the streets though. Oh, okay, cool. That seems and Just I don't like we don't squirrels or anything. You don't have squirrels either. No. Okay, so what kind of animals do you guys see? <laughs> see yeah. things I'm learning about the, about your country. There you go. So what what in in the wilderness yeah. or out in the woods? Like if you if we go hiking, what kinds of animals would we see? We would maybe see some reindeers in specific places. We would see ravens and uh, rabbits. Lots of bunnies. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm always fascinated because I know every area has different, different types of foliage, different types of animals. So I always want to know like what yeah. what I would see if I would go there. So, so there you go. Yeah. All right. So what would you like to tell everybody about your title um, that maybe we haven't touched on already? Um, I think I would just like to say that team of the Queen Beauty Universe family, they have done such an amazing job to create this platform because this is more, from, uh, like I said, in the modeling business. Right. And there are so many doors for so many girls, not just the, not just the winner. They are just always catching up on the girls, all of them that are so supportive, it's crazy. And they're opening doors also to the entertainment business and it's so fun like to to watch the queen beauty usa right they're going to compete now because they are just a sisterhood and it's so nice to see it because it just shows you how much love there is in this system and, and, and it really is it, it really is a sisterhood i used to think that that was yeah. a silly thing but I, I know through my experiences that my, my sister queens become my family. And, and, yeah. and it doesn't end when you give up your title, which I think is so beautiful. Are you having that same experience right now? I am, especially with uh, my sisters from Iceland, because we spent the whole summer together before the competition here in Iceland. So I've made some best friends there, and I am so grateful because just having someone by your side going through the same stuff as you and being able to comfort each other and give each other advice and, and just, yeah, experience something different together. That's beautiful. I think it's just because you share something that you don't, don't share with anyone else. Right. And it's a unique experience that only the class of yeah. 2019 will have. That's it. Yeah. You know, you, you, you bond yeah. with these women. I mean, you go on later on to other stuff, but at the end of the day, of this experience is just your experience for the women that competed with you. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. All right. How can we find you and follow the rest of your reign um, so that we can get, get and see more of what you do? You can go and follow Queen Beauty Universe on Instagram. 
they were super active with their profile there. And then I just have my own. If you want to follow my journey. Okay. And that's can... just, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. I know, just spell it all out. And it's actually in chat. So if anybody, um, I usually have one of my friends that comes on and does chat for me. Um, but it, you're in chat where you've, you've, you've asked some questions. So I'll make sure that they can find you there. Um, and yeah. I just want to thank you so much for the opportunity to get to know you a little bit better. And hopefully when you're here in February, I can see you and um, see you in person again, even though we didn't meet yeah. at the pageant and be able to say hi and talk to you a little bit more. Yeah, I would love that. And thank you for having me. I'm, I'm so honored and it was so nice. To you. Uh, my pleasure. I was really looking forward to it. So thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. And we'll yeah, and a good thing we worked out the technical issues. Kind of weird way to do it, but I guess it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> it did. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, my love. Thanks so much. We will see you next time, and Thank be blessed, you. and we will see yeah. you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Thanks so much, Sunny, for um, joining us and being on. I know this is a little bit odd with me doing a messenger with her. Um, we are working on another way to be able to do interviews so that hopefully um, when we're having technical issues like this, we it, it'll bring it together a little bit better. Um, so uh, thank you again, everybody, for being here. We've got a crazy couple of weeks coming up. Um, so we will not be broadcasting next Sunday. Um, this will be my last broad, my last live broadcast for the next couple of weeks uh, because I go straight into judging um, next week a, a pageant and then the week after that I go straight to Miss Universe so we will be there as well. Uh, I will be posting here as much as I possibly can on our Facebook um, so that you can uh, look and look for Sunny and if she posts anything if Tom her director posts anything um, I do add that to it as well so make sure you like our page here on Facebook Instagram we've got a lot going on and you can also look at Queen Beauty Universe on Instagram and on Facebook as well um, make sure you follow us so that you can get the updates when we go live and we have things going on and we do have a YouTube channel as well at pageantry now everything's at pageantry now subscribe to us so you can get the updates we will be having live interviews from Miss Universe um, and, and the other pageants that we go to as well uh, again I was at Queen Beauty Universe and I just didn't get an opportunity to interview Sunny so I am grateful that she was able to join us from Iceland today and tell us a little bit about her part of the earth um, and the things that she's doing um, you know trying to enjoy this title and have a great experience so thanks everybody for joining us tonight. Have a great night um, and I will see you over the next couple of weeks. Again, no live broadcast. Uh, I think my next live is, hold on, uh, December 8th is Miss Canada. Um, so we will see you guys then. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day and that's a wrap everybody.